In our Education Watch, students in Washington County, Tennessee are back in class. This was their first day back at school since Hurricane Helene devastated the region. Students were out on September 26th and the 27th in anticipation of Helene, but because of the aftermath of the storm and a previously scheduled fall break, students did not go back until today. News Channel 11's Karen Jenkins heard from students and staff during their first day back in the wake of Helene. Here at South Central Elementary, 17 students either had their homes destroyed or damaged in the floods. I talked to one seventh grader who says he's thankful to be alive and thankful for all of the support of the community. Eli Chapman says he wants to be an artist when he grows up. And now more than ever, he appreciates that he has that chance to grow up, that is. If we didn't get out of our house when we did, we might have died. Eli and his mom, Heather Norton, were at their home along Highway 107 when the floodwaters from the nearby Nolichucky River started rising that Friday morning. At first, they thought they'd be okay. Within a good half an hour, our ramp was like halfway under. But in these photos provided by Eli's mom, you can see the water continued to rise. The foundation under our house started to cave in. That's when they knew they needed to go. But by then, Eli's mom's car was underwater and there was no way out. They called 911. Emergency workers thankfully got there in time. Were you treading through water to get out at that point? They put us on a boat. They were treading through water. Now, this is all that's left. It's all gone besides our ramp and my mom's car. Eli is one of 10 families in the district that lost their homes during the flood. It's heartbreaking for this one school to see so much loss. We have several families who have lost everything. Um, so that's a hard, hard thing. Um, we're talking with each family, trying to get exactly what they need. Principal J.W. McKinney says all students have found temporary housing with family or friends and bus routes have been adjusted to make sure everyone can get to and from school. And as for Eli, he hopes his mom can get a new house and a car, but he's got a great perspective. I'm blessed to still have my family. I'm blessed to sell my cats. I'm happy. I'm happy I'm, I'm still alive today. And this will be a long road of recovery for this community and for the students here at this school. So we'll be sure and follow this story and continue to let you know how you can help. Reporting at South Central Elementary, I'm Karen Jenkins, News Channel 11. You can read more about other districts in our region that are still out of class as they work to recover from Helene on our website, WJHL.com.